One day, Jason is playing computer games in the living room. Suddenly, he shouted for pain in his right leg. His parents are worried about him. He was suffering from high fever and he has a loss of appetite which results in loss of weight. So, his mother decided to bring him to see a doctor. The doctor instructs for some examination such as X-ray. X-ray will probably be the first test done. A bone tumor can usually be spotted on an X-ray. MRI scan which is time to get a better look on an abnormal area seen on an X-ray to determine whether it is a tumor or an infection. It can also help to determine the extent of tumor. CT scan to see if a ewing tumor has spread to the lungs. Bone scan to see if the cancer has metastasized to bone in other part of body. Head scan which can show the spread of ewing tumors. And lastly, biopsy of tumor and bone marrow aspiration and biopsy. So, here is the MRI image, CT image, head image, bone scan image, X-ray image, and the result of tumor biopsy. Hi, doctor. What happened to my son? He is diagnosed with Ewing sarcoma, which is the most common bone cancer in children. It occurs most frequently on the skull, chest wall, pelvis, long bone of legs or arms, and spine. This disease most often occurs in adolescents, and it is more common in female than female. Epidemiology Ewing sarcoma occurs in approximately 1 in every 50,000 teenagers, with a peak incidence at age 15. It accounts for 30% of all bone cancer that occurs in children. The frequency of Ewing sarcoma in the population younger than 20 years old is approximately 2.9 per million. Doctors, what is the cause of Ewing sarcoma? The exact cause of Ewing sarcoma isn't clear. It isn't inherited, but it can be related to non-inherited changes in specific genes that happen during a person's lifetime. Exchange of genetic material between chromosome 11 and 12 is usually observed in patients with Ewing sarcoma. As the cancer spread beyond the main side, what is the stage of the cancer and what does that mean? It's stage 2A and the tumor is localized. The formal staging system for Ewing tumor is the American Joint Committee on Cancer System for Bone Cancer, AJCC. There are four key pieces of information in AJCC system. T describes the size of primary tumor and whether it appears in different areas of the bone. N describes the extent of spread to regional lymph node. M indicates whether the cancer has metastasized to other organs in the body. G stands for the grade of the tumor. It is important to know that all Ewing tumors are classified as G4, high grade, so they are never stage 1 bone cancer. What does tumor is localized mean? A localized Ewing tumor is thought to be confined to the area where it started. How about metastatic Ewing tumor? A metastatic Ewing tumor has clearly spread from where it started to distant parts of the body. Most of the time, it spread to the lung or to the bones or bone marrow. How much is the chances of being cured or how long he can expect to live? The current treatment, the overall 5 minutes of rate for patients with Ewing tumor that are localized when they are first found is around 70%. However, when the cancer has already spread when it is diagnosed, the 5 years of rate is about 15 to 30%. What are our treatment options? What do you recommend? The treatment options are radiotherapy, chemotherapy, and surgery. In fact, almost all children treated for Ewing sarcoma are treated with a combination of chemotherapy and surgery or radiation because chemotherapy is often the first cause of treatment for Ewing sarcoma, unlike other cancers where surgery might be the first step. Doctors use chemotherapy to reduce the size of tumor before removing it surgically. It is also used after surgery to eradicate any remaining cancer cells. After chemotherapy has reduced the cancer, surgery is likely to be more effective for treating Ewing sarcoma. At this point, most of the time, surgeon will remove the tumor if possible. In some cases, children will need graft of bone or tissue or artificial bone to replace disease area that must be removed. Very rarely, amputation is required to fully remove a tumor. Radiation can also be used in combination with chemotherapy and surgery to kill cancer cells that surgery cannot remove. It will be used instead of before surgery in tumors that cannot be removed or after surgery as chemotherapy does. 10 months later. Congratulations, he has survived cancer. 
Yeah! Created using Powtoon.